Morning guys, okay, today it is Wednesday. I'm more than aware that I look rough. I don't even care anymore. Uh, today, I am trying to tie up loose ends. My flight is tomorrow. I haven't even told you what I'm doing. So from the title of the video, you know what's happening. I am moving to New Zealand. I haven't said that out loud yet. That's really, really weird. So today's my last full day in the UK. I'm trying to tie up loose ends. I'm very excited because I'm excited to go, but I'm also really anxious. So I'm trying to keep on top of everything. Be organized, precise, and calm. That's the plan. I can't say it's gonna happen, but that's the plan. I've literally woken up. Um, I called my boyfriend just now and had like a chat with him. And I think I'm gonna repack my bag for the fourth time. I don't know how many of you guys have ever tried to pack a suitcase for a year. It's really quite difficult. I didn't actually think about this until about three days ago, I'd say. <laughs> I just thought, it's fine. We'll just put some stuff in a case and we'll be away. So I've made my hand luggage pile, which is done, which is great, because it's like, I'm packing light. Uh, last time I went to New Zealand, my hand luggage wasn't like, I took too much stuff and it was just unnecessary. I took a bunch of stuff that I thought I'd need because I'd be bored on the flight and actually I just wanted to sleep so time passed quicker because uh, the flight altogether takes basically a day. It doesn't sound like long, but it goes quite slow. So I need to go to the supermarket to get some last bits, mainly food that I want to take over there for people because um, that's what I do. I need to cancel my car insurance because obviously I'm not going to be here to need to be insured on my car. I'm also going to repack my bag again now. So I'm going to unpack everything I put in and take it out and look at what I've got and think, do you really need that, Alice? Do you really actually need that? I thought my case was bigger, to be honest with you. I thought my case was bigger, so I need to streamline. That's what we're doing today. We're streamlining. I feel like I might be less anxious after I've streamlined because then I'll be like, oh, we're okay. We've, we're, on the, we're on the ball. We're on the, we're on the move, you know. These are all words, they don't make sense. So this is my bag at the moment, and it, it closes fine, and like there's space and everything, but I just, I know I've got to fit my makeup bag here, my chargers here, and then my knickers here. And I just want a little bit more space in there. So I'm gonna take everything out and just double check I need everything I've put in there. I know over there I can get anything I need, but I'm trying to save money. So I don't wanna to have to go over there and buy a jumper because I forgot a jumper. You know, it will annoy me if I think, I don't need this jumper, I'm not taking it. I get there and I'm like, oh, where's that jumper that I packed? And actually I don't have it, so. The main problem with this bag is jumpers. Like, I have too many jumpers. I just love jumpers and I get cold real easy. So I'm aware I need like hoodies, jumpers, things to keep me warm, even though it's summer over there. Also, I am still a little bit ill. I don't even care anymore. Um, I'm powering through and I'm gonna feel great by the morning. So tomorrow I'm getting up at around five in the morning, I think. My flight is at 11.25, last check-in is at 9.25, um, but I always like to be super early for flights because it's less stress. Charge my iPod, which I've had from uh, like the 2000s, and I'm ready to go. <laughs> I also can't fit many books in my case, and it's really upsetting me, um, but my boyfriend told me that there's loads of libraries around him, so we're good. <laughs> I just finished sort of sort of <laughs> repacking my bag. I have a few more things still to go in, but I'm pretty happy with it. I just put my sweatshirts on the top to protect everything. And now I'm just gonna quickly pop to the shop. I just broke my plant and I'm very upset. I broke a whole freaking leaf. My poor succulent. What did I do to you? <laughs> Please bond back. <laughs> Let's just pretend. <sighs> I wanna get some sort of little gifts for people, so I'm gonna go look what I can find. Okay, so I'm back from Tesco's. Yeah, so I just got like an array of what I think are snacks that are English that they might not have in New Zealand for like my boyfriend and his family to enjoy. When I was in the queue paying for them, um, there was a little girl in front of me and she was just like, she looked so jealous of my shopping. <laughs> it was really, really cute. Um, but I'm now gonna attempt to fit that into there. 